It's like what I was talking about earlier with that shot. We can get people interested in the cats and dogs in the laboratories, and then we can talk to them about veganism. We can get them to be activists against vivisection, against circuses, against fur farms, even against factory farming. And they might not be vegan, but we can start introducing them to those issues along the way. And so we get both. But because ultimately, like, in order to dismantle this like, entire system of oppression, I think we're going to need as many left-leaning and social justice campaigners and activists and people fighting back. We need as many as absolute possible. We just won't be able to win this by simply relying on the idea of lifestyle change and simply relying on changing people one at a time. But in order to create like a mass movement of people fighting for animals, we have to allow people to bypass that moral baseline of veganism and fight for animals regardless. I think it's a hard thing for animal rights people, it's a hard thing for vegans to hear. But there are a lot more people who care about animals than there are vegans. And I think there are more people that are opposed to factory farming, that are opposed to fur, that are opposed to circuses, than there are vegans. But I think if we can start looping in those folks into smart strategic campaigning without judging them based just on their diet, I think we'll start to see our numbers increase, I think we'll start to see our victories increase, and eventually we'll see our um, uh, people being introduced to veganism increase. Because in order to win this like goal of animal liberation, whoops, wrong slide. Be <laughs> in order to win this idea of animal liberation, we're gonna need everyone, everyone left-leaning, everyone mildly interested in social justice issues. We need anyone and everyone who's ready to fight. Because we have to change every fabric of everyone's lives, right? We need to change the way, we need to change the way you know, people eat, we need to change the clothes that pe clothing that people wear. We need to change the entertainment that people watch. We need to change the medicine that people take. And that applies to vegans as well, right? It all comes on the backs of animals. All the fruits and vegetables we eat, all the synthetic and cotton clothing that we wear, the products that we take that aren't tested on animals in one way or another does kill animals. Because I think animal liberation is perhaps like one of the biggest and loftiest goals of a social justice movement that, that really has been attempted, right? And if we we're gonna win, we're gonna have to be smart, we're gonna have to be creative, we're gonna have to take risks. We're gonna have to build bridges with other communities, build bridges with other movements. We have to build campaigns that are going after the systems of oppression. We're gonna have to fight like hell in order to win because I don't think we can just ask for change, I think we have to demand it. Thank you.